y'all it's thrifty tiffany and welcome back to my channel today we have my dollar tree empties video and if you've never clicked on a video like this before it's basically just a video where i go over basically trash all the items that we used in this house that i purchased from dollar tree and i kind of let you know if we liked it if we didn't like it if it's worth the dollar 25 if it's a new product and we just tried it for the first time so you can keep an eye out for it at your local dollar tree but grab you a drink. I have tea. We always drink tea and talk trash with Tiffany. So go ahead and grab your tea. I have green tea, which is actually from Dollar Tree. I have the box to show you in here, which is a definite purchase from Dollar Tree. And I have just green tea and honey. Always use two tea bags. It's just better that way. Love it. So grab you a drink. Also, if you're new here, I hope you stay subscribed, become part of the family. Also, check me out over on Instagram and TikTok at ThriftyTiffany35. Love you to join me over there. Hope everyone is doing well today and you're happy and you're healthy and things are going good for you. We're going to jump into this, y'all. It is Tuesday and we're on a roll. I'm going to film another video tomorrow, but let's keep this going, y'all. I'm excited. If you haven't seen the video I posted yesterday on Monday, it was the Black Friday Bath and Body Works haul. So if you want something to watch, go check that out as well. But we're going to jump in. I'm having a good day today. Again, I hope you guys are having one as well. So first things first, we're talking some trash, y'all. We've got to talk about this tea because this is a huge box of green tea. I think there's 100 tea, ba 100 tea bags, y'all. This is the best green tea. I literally love it. It's just smooth green tea. And with honey, oh, y'all, y'all just don't understand. It's so good. And it, it lasts a very long time. Like, I went through it. I have, like, a little bit left out of the pack, like, a couple tea bags. But it's worth it. It's good. Pick it up. Why not? It's $1.25 for 100 tea bags. Yes, ma'am. I also got a pack like this. They have black tea. So, if you like black tea, also get that as well. Um, but Tea Vibe has always been really, really good. Definite yes, ma'am. I got my trash back here. Definite yes, ma'am. These were a lot of this you're going to see from Thanksgiving food prep. Love Dollar Tree. Love going there first. So it will kind of give you a heads up if you're shopping for things for Christmas time, what you can buy at Dollar Tree, you know, for your little Christmas prep. But of course, Reynolds wrap. Now I usually buy the sheets, which you guys know, I always buy the sheets for, uh, of Reynolds wrap for the pan. They were out of them during the holidays. So I just grabbed these, use them during Thanksgiving. Worked really good. This, it was a really good find. I have bought several of them. This was my last one. This is organic free range chicken broth. I Not only did I use this for fellas food, I used it just to add into stuff. If you need chicken broth, and it was low sodium, so a fella could have it. So it was very, very good. If you see it, pick it up. I've looked everywhere for them. Again, haven't seen it. Again, this is one of those products that Dollar Tree just randomly got. So I picked it up and I bought several of them, y'all. These were really, really good. Really good. Very good brand, too. If you see any brand names, pick it up there. Groceries are way too expensive not to. And these, if you make banana pudding during the holidays, these vanilla wafers just as good as any this is by the brand bud's best his cookies are so good so if you see these buy them yes they are really good they taste just like the name brand i promise you they're really really good for a dollar 25 vanilla wafers why not i made banana pudding and that was gone within a day within a day here is the milk that i always always keep in my pantry i will always have one of these in my pantry do not be scared of carton milk on the shelves. Don't be scared of it. This is literally the best to have because once you open it, you can put it in the refrigerator and you know, it's easy to run out of milk or milk to go bad in the refrigerator, especially if your family size has gone down or you just don't use milk a lot. Um, really good in baking and cooking and hot chocolate, whatever you need milk for y'all, this is it. I love it. I've talked about it since forever, years now. Telling y'all, don't be scared of it. I'm it tastes good. Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared. Really, really good. It's a dollar twenty-five. Um, these, yes, ma'am. We're always gonna get these. We're always gonna get. If you have, if you see the boxes, these have fifty-two in it. Fifty-two forks, at fifty-two spoons. Especially during the holidays and you're entertaining, grab these. Save yourself some dishes time. Save yourself dishes time because why not and these are better than in the party section where they have the bags now if that's all they have go ahead and grab them but when you see these scoop them up because there's 52 in each so 
this is a go-to in my family, a go-to. Cuts down on dishes and then especially for the holidays. Okay, next up, Kaya made these and they were actually really, really good. I was gonna make these in those Christmas tins, but she made it one night when she had a friend over and they were so good. She did it and they are really, really good. They were cookie cups, birthday cake, and the kit included everything that you needed. The only thing you needed to add was a tablespoon of water and some butter. Literally, that's all you needed to add. So it had the whole pack. These were good, very much so. Then I made these one breakfast. They are the blueberry muffin tops. This was the last pack that I had. Very good. Now what I did was instead of vegetable oil, butter. And I did the egg and instead of a cup of water, milk. So switch that out in the back. And again, y'all again, that's what this milk comes in handy for. So perfect for baking. And these were so good. The muffin tops, best part. Y'all, those were so good. Um, okay, crackers. These are always a go-to if you need snacks around the house, especially when you're cooking Thanksgiving and or Christmas and have a bunch of people around and they need some little snacks. Kids are around, give them a pack of crackers. This is just the peanut, um, peanut butter one, and this is the cheddar cheese one. All these little boxes of Lance um, crackers, so good to keep on hand. For even when the kids are out of school, spring break, summer break, if you go stay in a town home, those are just always good to have in your car, wherever if you need snacks. And in Atlanta traffic here, you need to keep a couple snacks in your car because you never know if you're gonna get stuck on 285 because y'all, or 75, 85, or Atlanta traffic, crazy. Um, cookies, always, I will always have these on hand. These are in the frozen section, They're, they are six big cookies. This is the chocolate chip and this is the sugar. All of these are good. Mrs. Fields is amazing and for $1.25 for six decent sized cookies and you can bake some of these and put them in a tin if you wanna take a treat to the your workplace or wherever you wanna go. If you wanna gift it, baked goods are always the best. You can add sprinkles, you can do whatever you want to it, but $1.25, yes. It's always a go-to for me. Um, these were really good when they had them. These are the Pringles sour cream and onion flavored chips. Of course, they're good and for $1.25 for the full container, amazing. So we went through all of those. What's next? Oh, Kai and her friend came over. She put up a tree in her room and she invited her friend over and they did the little gingerbread houses, but those fell apart that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, and then they had um, hot chocolate and these little mugs. And then we used this little Santa uh, chocolate, like it, it's a cho it's called a chocolate bomb, hot chocolate bomb. And um, they loved it. They, they used these with that milk, again, with that milk. So these were really good hits. Um, had those. These, when you see them, definitely get them. I love jalapenos. I love jalapeno rice. I love jalapeno grits. I just love jalapeno anything. I love jalapenos. But these were good. The minute rice, these little, they're perfect little sizes just for a quick, if you want to make a quick little like tuna bowl or just a little side, you don't want to like get in the kitchen and cook it. I'll have a rice maker going right now. Um, I'm making a tuna bowl actually later today, a tuna rice bowl for lunch. And um, anyway, these are perfect and easy. And if you get the plain ones, you can feed it to your dog too plain rice, not the jalapeno. <laughs> this is my all time favorite face moisturizer lotion. This is the extra care diabetics hydrating lotion. I'm not a diabetic y'all, but um, it hydrates and soothes and it's fragrance free. That's why I got it. It's fragrance free, no scents are in it. And it's very hydrating. It's perfect for a face moisturizing lotion. If you have sensitive skin like me, it is literally perfect. No smells, no scents, no anything. It's like a gold, like a dupe for gold bond. And it's just amazing. So I use it. And I have like three more in my bathroom right now. I just opened a new one. This is the new Arm & Hammer um, Powder Fresh Deodorant Scent. And I used it all. You just barely, it, you know, it gets so far down it hurts when you roll it. <laughs> but um, this one I like. Like I said on one of the hauls when I hauled it. It doesn't have a strong scent, it has powder fresh. It has like a light scent. So if it mixes with your sweat, it doesn't give you a weird odor. Like it just makes you feel fresh and clean. There's no weird scent mixed with body odor, you know? Y'all you know, know what I'm talking about? Cause some deodorants just, 
defeat the purpose because then it makes it even smell weirder. But uh, I love this. And it's got to be the pink label that says powder fresh. And it's um, the white, not gel or anything like that. They do have other scents. But um, that's the one I like. And it's fairly new, that scent to Dollar Tree. Um, I actually used this for Fella's food one day, like I told you guys when I did Fella's. And if anybody wants to see how I feed Fella or the meals that I make, I just recently posted a video, his Thanksgiving meal. So there is a video up and I think I have an older one. So I just basically go on Google and look at what dogs can eat. And then especially if I have things in the kitchen that we're not eating, I'll look to see if it's safe for dogs and then use it. So I had got this a while back from Dollar Tree and it's called Natural Heaven and it's spaghetti, but it's the noodles are hearts of palm. So I looked up if dogs can have it and they can have it just not too much. So I spread this out in his food and he ate it. He loved it. It, it was like a, just a thickener. It was the like kind of like starch because it's not really starch. This is low carb. So if you want to like a low carb thing, I think it's low carb, right? Yeah, it only has four carbs in this thing. But he ate it and it went with his food, mixed with his protein, mixed with his veggies. And I was able to use it because I, ha I have several of these. I bought several and I thought, you know what? I think I was out of rice that day or I was out of potatoes or I was out of something where I just wanted to add it and see. And it was okay for him to have in, in, in you know, small amounts. So I gave it to him. These I had such high hopes for. I don't know if it's my Keurig. To be honest, I don't know if I need a new Keurig. I probably do. And I probably need to do it on a cleaning vinegar cycle. Because you know you're supposed to clean your Keurig. Because at this point, sometimes my coffee just tastes like water sometimes. That's the only thing about a Keurig. But this particular coffee, okay, the, the blend was hazelnut, praline, and cinnamon. I thought for sure this is the bit that sounds amazing that sounds like something i would buy at the regular store that sounds amazing and for four cups of it a dollar 25 i did not like this i tried it i don't, again i don't know if i need to clean my coffee machine or maybe it was just a bad cup i didn't like it i don't know if you're gonna like it but and this is a good brand harry and david they sell harry and david items in like tj maxx marshall's um I think he sells like chocolates and he has gift baskets. Uh, I just didn't like this. Maybe I need to give it another try, but I want to be honest. I, I didn't like that. So I, 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 don't, I don't like that. <laughs> That's just my opinion. You might like it. Coconut milk. I use these for smoothies one day. I always get these from Dollar Tree. It's my favorite. If you ever need coconut milk, get it from Dollar. It's $1.25. Love it. Love it in smoothies. Love it in overnight oats. It's amazing. This is that chocolate bar that I tried on that haul which I said it doesn't have um, like real caramel in it. So you don't have like a caramel string. It's more like caramel flavored, but it's good. I ate it. I took some days and just grabbed, it comes in like individual little sticks and I ate it, but it looks bougie. It, I picked it up because it's something nice to give to your coworkers or um, in stockings and it was decent. You know, it was a decent chocolate. It didn't have that smooth, like, Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli caramel or nothing. But for $1.25, you know, it'll do. <laughs> it'll do me. But um, bouillon cubes, I use, I finished this out Thanksgiving time. Got to have them. Used a lot for my dressing and for just boiling some of the things. This is what I use on my heels, like when I exfoliate my feet in the bath and do all of my you know all my routine where you exfoliate your whole body i put these on the heel of my feet and like my whole foot my toes everything and then put a sock on over it those warm fuzzy socks and i love this stuff you get it for dollar tree these are perfect for um stockings as well they have men's doves so you can put together your husband's your son's things like that with the vaseline cocoa products or the men's dove products they got men's dove soap so you can honestly put together a really nice men's uh, stocking with the little stuff like that and already got a little cool y'all i've been talking next up these always 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 in my car these are just wet wipes travel wet wipes this one has vitamin E and aloe. Keep them on hand. Brought them in just to share with you guys if you see them. Batteries. Went through some batteries because I put together, 
I added them to the candy canes that I have on my balcony with the LED lights. So they have these NFL Falcon ones and then Panasonic. I get the Panasonic and then whatever these were. I don't know the brand of the NFL ones, but they're by NFL.com, y'all. And it was Falcon. So your city might have whatever team is in your city. Uh, this, it looks nice. This looks like a Bath and Body Work product, right? Or like a Target product. But these were those little beads as air freshener. Does it smell good to the nose? Yes. When you set it out, does it smell up a whole room? No, it's not strong at all. It just kind of looks fancy. But I wouldn't buy that again because it doesn't work, y'all. Um, these are my favorite. I've talked to you guys about it. You get a four pack for $1.25, a four pack of sparkling water. These are the Mandarin. I like the Mandarin and the Lemon Lime. That's the two that they carry and they're so good. So I'm always grabbing these and they gotta be, you gotta drink them very, very cold. They don't have no sugar, no nothing like that. If you don't like sparkling water, you're not gonna like those. But there's, if you like sparkling water, like here's the one I got from Aldi. I love just a classic plain sparkling water. It has a hint of lemon and lime. That's it. Not fruity, not sweet. It's just water with carbonation. Um, alcohol prep pads. This was a really good deal when I originally got it. There's 200. They're individually wrapped. And Kai and I use these like when you get out the shower and you dry your hair and do all of that, get ready. You take the little swabs. You know, it's like the little prep pads. It's like a little alcohol, like the thinnest little alcohol swab. You literally put it on the your finger and, you know, clean behind your ears with them. I just take both alcohol pads because it comes with two. You rip it in half, do one for this ear, one for this ear, and you just clean the back of your ears with it. And that's what we use them for. We love these. Very, very convenient. These are my favorite, favorite floss. I've heard that these aren't the best for you. The smooth glide that have like the wax type stuff on it. I think the string is better. But these, y'all, these these don't hurt. So that's why I get them. But, um, and this brand, look at Target next time you're there, is expensive. So if you can get it for $1.25, and this is a good little hygiene product. Let me just say this. Let me normalize getting hygiene products in a stocking perfect it saves you from having to go and buy it you know it's a necessity so you know they'll use it you know what i'm saying like why not just get it uh sea salt i love this and this is morton's i love sea salt this was fine sea salt and i love this little container used it all i'm still going through all the shaving cream that I have bought the boys throughout the year <laughs> I don't know why I have bought them so much, but when we cleaned in the bathroom before they both left, they had so much shaving cream. So I don't have to buy shaving cream for a while um, because I have so much that we're going through. And these don't have a, this is soothing aloe. It doesn't have a male scent. It's just shaving cream. So I, me and Kai have been going through it because I'll go through, we go through some shaving cream, me and her. I'm not sure why I bought it for the boys like I did. Uh, these were really good. These were apple cider um, muffins. Y'all, so good. Perfect amount of apple cider. This is the Martha White brand. We loved it. Just randomly get in the mood to bake a little something. And that's easy for teenagers to do. So just keep those on hand and help yourself out that way. <laughs> Love this double mint gum. I always pick the big packs up um, when I go to Dollar Tree. Why not? grinder salt grinder finally went through this one the only thing is i don't think you can refill these i think i've tried that before and it doesn't work i don't know i might see if i can refill these that would be nice if you could um i'm gonna try it i'm gonna look into it and this was the non-medicated blemish patches but these were the like star gold star ones but these honestly felt like thin paper they have some other blemish patches that by be pure that come in like this orange box this big box that looks like mighty patch those are good those are good these fancy gold star ones from dollar tree y'all you know, it's like a thin piece of foil almost and it comes right off so i won't do these again It was a good thought, you know, if it was just made of the thicker product like the other ones. This is by Be Pure too, but it's not the same one. If you guys have been in there before, you know it's a Be Pure pack. 
It's got orange and blue, and I think it says blemish patches, but it's not like a fancy, it's just plain circles. Those are good. These are not, they just tear up. They just come right off. These were the plastic cups, the red Solo cups. I will always get these Thanksgiving because we're not messing up all the cups in the house. You know what I'm saying? So, I got that. This is a Vagisil bath bomb. It's V friendly. So, it's perfect because sometimes people are very sensitive to things like that. Different bath bombs. This one had a wonderful scent. It was a white jasmine scent. And again, if you get Vagisil or any type of brand name products for a dollar, I'm picking it up. It literally smells so good. Dollar Tree got these a while back and I had grabbed several. It has vitamin E in it and everything. Fizzes for a relaxing all body bath experience. It just helps not irritate anything, you know? And that's it. Oh, this was a battery pack. It was like a four pack. I use a lot of batteries to do the um, candy canes. But this was the Ever Ready brand and it had like a plastic pack of batteries but yeah that's it oh i had pulled this out this was the alani kiwi guava now i try to stay away from energy drinks because sometimes they do give me a headache but this one was so good y'all this was the kiwi guava and these to get a four dollar 25 is amazing when you go to the gas station if you go to qt or go to anything like that they're like 250 sometimes three dollars so if you see energy drinks and you drink energy drinks and it just helps you get through the day, um, if you see them at Dollar Tree, pick them up because you're saving yourself that trip to the gas station where you're spending two fifty three dollars on a drink that you could be getting for a dollar twenty five. This this flavor was very good. Again, it's kiwi guava. But that is it for this haul. It was a lot of um, empties haul. It was a lot of uh, a lot of food products that we go through. But I love to share them with you guys just so you know what to look out for and what our family eats and what we consistently buy. But um, thank you guys so much for being here with me. Take you a sip. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Y'all, we are almost to December. We got, what, two days? Today's, what is today? 28th. Today's the 28th. So I should be getting out another video tomorrow. I got a couple ideas. So I do need to do a Dollar Tree haul, but this is the beginning of the week. So my Dollar Tree restocks like on Thursday. So probably Thursday for a Dollar Tree haul. I don't know. I'm going to go out today and see what I can figure out. But I also might do a cook with me. Kaya wants um, Cajun chicken Alfredo pasta tonight. So we're probably going to do, I may do a cook with me. Don't hold me to it now. Y'all don't hold me to it. I may do a cook with me. Um, I also want to make some garlic knots tonight, and we'll see. I already got some stuff out here. I got my penne pasta. The oh, I'm in pajama pants, so I wasn't. I, I stopped myself because I'm in pajama pants. But I'm gonna be using this Cajun style. <laughs> Y'all saw how I stopped myself. This Cajun style all-purpose seasoning, spicy Louisiana classic. This is what we're going to season the chicken and the pasta sauce with. Uh, got this from Dollar Tree. It's the Kingsford. So this is going to make some really good Cajun Alfredo, and I'm so excited for it. We're going to get sausages and chicken. So I might film, not sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you on my next one. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.